Meg 2 is surprisingly missing one thing, and that is, well, Megs. So let's talk about this movie. As always, there will be spoilers in this video, so if you don't want spoilers, head over to my shorts or my TikTok and check out my one-take movie review on this movie. But without further ado, let's talk about the movie that's about giant sharks but doesn't really have giant sharks called Meg 2 The Trench. So coming off the first movie, which is a movie I didn't really mind at all, it was one of those movies where you just kind of turn off your brain and go watch a bunch of dumb fun on screen. So when I heard about Meg 2 The Trench, I was kind of looking forward to it in a way. Now, I didn't have high expectations for this movie at all. I just wanted to go in and watch Jason Statham fight some sharks for about an hour and a half or so. And I got that for all of, well, five minutes. So let's talk about what this movie is about. So in this movie, Jason Statham's character and others go down to a trench at the bottom of the ocean, but essentially once some Megs escape the trench, they find themselves trying to survive and then trying to save people from those Megs. Hopping right into the good, and honestly there really wasn't that much good in this movie, but if I had to pick one thing, it would be the special effects. I mean, everything under the water in this movie looked pretty solid, and also all the Megalodons looked pretty realistic as well. I mean, I was pretty impressed with the way just the Megalodons were designed and the way they looked in this movie. There were a couple close-up shots on their eyes and their gills, and they showed some of the scarring that they had, and it looked really good for the most part. So overall, the special effects in this movie, especially under the water, were pretty solid. And quickly moving into the so-so, and the first thing I have here is that this movie was just eh, kind of entertaining, I guess. I mean, as a whole, this movie was pretty boring considering it's a movie based off giant sharks. I think they focused way too much on the human element in this movie, but I'll touch on that a little bit later. However, I would be lying to you if I said there weren't parts in this movie that I was still pretty entertained by. I mean, seeing Jason Statham on a jet ski taking on three megalodons with nothing but some harpoon slash spear looking things was just laughably entertaining and is honestly the reason you go see a movie like this. You just want to turn off your brain and have a bunch of dumb fun. But sadly, as I said before, that scene lasted all of maybe five minutes. And outside of that and the third act, really, there's really nothing else like that throughout the movie. The only other part I can think of was at the beginning of the movie when they were walking down at the bottom of the trench looking for that marine base and they were kind of getting chased by all the creatures that were down there and to be honest this was the only part in the movie where the suspense worked really well. But other than that they focused on this boring human espionage plot that I honestly just had no interest in. And next up for the so-so, I have the third act. And the third act is what you came to this movie to see. It was just a bunch of dumb action that you could turn off your brain and enjoy. But sadly, it was only like the last 20 minutes where we got all of that dumb fun action. Plus, when we finally got there, they were just cutting around to all the things that were happening. And there was just a lot happening in this third act. I mean, they even threw a Kraken in there just, I guess, because they could. During Jason Statham's fight with the three Megalodons while he was on the jet ski, they resort to him in a gunfight with the villain, which was weird, but hey, whatever. And overall, this whole sequence was just poorly edited. I mean, we had characters jumping around from place to place, and we really just don't know how they got there. And this was 100% prevalent with the girl because she was kind of all over the place in this sequence. I mean, she started it up in the tower and then she was down on the dock and then she was somehow ended up in the water. They had like this weird cut where she was all, all of a sudden in the water and she was saving the dog and it was just, it was really confusing and it was just something I noticed. I guess overall it was fine. I just wish this movie would have put more of that dumb fun throughout the entire movie instead of focusing on the human element which was the most boring part of this movie. Finally getting into the bad and the first thing I have here is that this movie really had no direction. Now don't get me wrong, I understand that this movie was not trying to have a deep story with fleshed out characters and going into this movie I definitely didn't expect much from a story standpoint. But but for this movie, it seemed like they were going somewhere with the whole espionage plot of that group stealing minerals from the bottom of the trench and then sending it up to the surface to sell it and make money. But once we got out of the trench in this movie, it just seems like they completely abandoned that storyline. I mean, they even kill off the villains pretty easily in this movie with no real resolution. And at the end of the day, I really felt like I was watching two movies in this one movie. I mean, we had the espionage plot at the beginning and then the big 
big dumb fun fighting the Megalodons right there at the end. And on top of that, there were a plethora of plot points that were just completely abandoned and forgotten about by the end of the movie. All in all, they focused way too much on the human element in this movie, as I said before. And in the beginning of the movie, it seemed like they had potential with that, but they just completely missed by the time this movie was over. And the people going to see this movie only want one thing, and that's Jason Statham fighting big giant sharks. And as I said before, we really only got five minutes of that. And that leads me right into the next bad thing, and that is that the Megalodons were kind of pushed off to the side in this movie. I mean, we really didn't see much of them at all until the end of the movie. And that's kind of why I enjoy the first one way more than this one, and that is because the Meg was more of a focus in the first movie. Yes, they had the human element, but it didn't overtake what you came to see, and that was a big giant shark eating people and Jason Statham doing crazy things to take this shark down. And even when we finally got to the part where the Megs were the main focus, it was kind of underwhelming in my opinion. I mean, when you're dealing with a shark movie and just dealing with this genre in general, you expect to see a lot of gore, a lot of blood, and I'm not big into that, but when you're dealing with a shark movie and there's absolutely no blood outside of the very beginning, that's kind of a problem in my opinion. I mean, the sharks were just swallowing people whole. It wasn't very exciting really at all. And that's kind of surprising considering this is a movie about giant sharks. And I feel like that's not hard to make very exciting. Anyways, moving on to the next thing here, and that is the acting slash dialogue. Now the acting in this movie was painfully average if I do say so myself but that probably also has to do with how bad the dialogue was in this movie as well. I mean, Jason Statham played Jason Statham in this movie and I really didn't mind that at all. And honestly, I also have to say, I really liked Paige Kennedy's character in this movie. I think his name was DJ, but he had this whole survival kit thing going with him and I just thought that was pretty entertaining and pretty funny. But other than that, the acting slash dialogue in this movie was just bland and boring. And honestly, the more that I think about it, it's probably more the dialogue's fault because at the end of the day, these actors can only really work with what they have. And finally for the bad, and this may just be a me thing, but I feel like some of these scenes were dubbed over in post. There were a couple times where the words didn't quite match up with the actor's mouth, and also their body language didn't really match what they were saying. There was also a couple times where a character may have been off screen or you couldn't see the character's mouth, where they would say something and it clearly sounded like they went into an audio booth and just voiced over whatever they just said because it just, I don't know what it was, it just sounded weird and didn't sound like it fit the scene. But overall, this movie was just not that great. I wasn't looking for anything amazing, but at the end of the day, this movie didn't deliver on its main selling point and that was the Megalodons. It focused too much on the human element, which was just boring at the end of the day, so I would definitely wait to watch this movie. Those are my thoughts on Meg 2 The Trench. Be sure to let me know what you thought of the movie down in the comments. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, get your easy apparel at shopeasyapparel.com. God bless, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>